Sagittarius, hi, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of November 1st to the 7th, 2021. Feeling like a little bit of a hot mess in your energy already, not going to lie. Let me uncross my leg. Um, we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck, and then we'll pull the main focus for the week from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck, okay? And then from there, we'll pull the main part of the reading from the Mermaid Tarot deck and further clarify when it need be. All right, so let's do some shuffling. Okay, that one's part of that deck. Bear with me. Okay, you might find that you're put in situations this week where you have to sort of explain yourself and you're like, I really don't feel the need to. So sorry that I'm not sorry. Okay. Um, let's see here. Keep in mind, this is general. Um, I do appreciate um, all of your support and love, all right? So for my lovely Sagittariuses, um, there might be a level of truth coming to light this week. Um, for my Sagittariuses, for the 1st to the 7th, as that card comes out, wow. Yep. People's true colors may be coming to life, uh, coming to light. Seeing a lot of twos this week. Okay, we're going to go with those three. It's all time to heal, okay? You've been through a lot, all right? You have been experiencing a lot of hurt recently, I feel the need to say. Um, a lot of drama or chaos or just, it feels like there's a lot of people that want to support you and are there for you, so utilize them or just allow yourself to take the time when need be to heal, okay? Um, let's pull the main focus. Music is going to be key for you this week. Uh, utilize that to heal or to just regain a level of peace or to put a smile on your face. I see someone driving and just enjoying music to the furthest extent. Good for you. The main focus for Sagittarius for the week. You might just realized I skipped Aries. Okay, went straight for Sagittarius. I think that was um, very much guided. Um refuge yeah um reminder that you're protected right and i feel like that's not spiritual okay i feel like that's more so people around you you know your family friends um not so much co-workers but it just feels like more your loved ones in your life people love you okay so truth transcends illusion dragonfly spirit maybe seeing a hefty amount of dragonflies this week or one where it just is a beautiful moment don't forget to sort of pay attention to angel numbers throughout the week You'll notice because I didn't have this last week for your reading, I have my new microphone. It's sort of camouflaged. It keeps getting all effed up um, because of my shirt, but it's on my necklace because I didn't want to drag the collar down for this uh, specific shirt. One of my favorites. So um, look, it's so random as a canoe <laughs> or whatever that is. Anyways, Dragonfly Spirit. Trying to improve the audio for this channel. Okay interesting it's like that started to get away from me and I usually would um go to grab it or catch it before it went off the table and I decided not to that might be the vibe you're giving off where it's like whatever gets away from me it gets away from whatever comes back comes back right reaching for your level of independence all the meanwhile trying to control things a little bit too much I feel the need to say um as people in situations just show you their true colors could be dealing with a lot of chaos this week, okay? Or just a, from time to time throughout the week. King of Wands and the Seven of Wands feeling as if um, you're giving off this confident sort of passionate energy. This could be someone else in your situation, okay? Um, you thinking about them a lot or trying to help them a lot, but feeling as if they're, you just have a lot coming at you. Um, this came up in one of your recent readings where people just are texting you a lot, calling you a lot, messaging you a lot. But you initiate that, I feel like you desire that level of attention, that level of comfort and love that is just truly um, meant for you. You just feeling like you're on stage at certain points this week and you're meant to. Okay, people noticing your skill sets, your work, your qualities, um, who you're becoming, your strength, and you going through this level of healing and being like, really? Okay. And so you might sort of react like that off right off the bat and you're just like, okay, no. Let me just 
pretend like that was not meant to be a shocking kind of moment. But I'm also seeing the number 55 five here. You might be dealing with uh, seeing a lot of those as well and um, be prepping for a level of change moving forward, however that pertains to you. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. All right, so what do we have for this giraffe spirit for my lovely Sagittarius's? Ten of Wands, the Star, and the King of Cups, okay? You're going to be emotional this week. Please don't, um, please allow yourself to use this as a time to heal once again from all the pain you've been dealing with. Um, I was going to say, please don't click off because I said that, but with the Ten of Wands and the Star, this feeling like you have a lot going on, a lot on your plate, okay? But you take on a lot as well. Let's keep that in mind. It's just a habit of yours. But with the King of Cups feeling a bit emotional and confident all the meanwhile, and it might confuse people. And you being like, you all, you have those moments as well. You know, just because I got, you know, shit going on and I'm just trying to stay confident and accomplish a lot, um, just bear with me. That's kind of the vibe you're giving off as well. But being pushed to take a step back and look at the big picture of your situation, okay? To keep the hope alive. You at times wanting to sort of give into those emotions to the point where you want to give up or you want to sort of um, not accomplish as much. And maybe that's purposeful to the point where you need to sort of lighten your load a bit or reevaluate as how much you're taking on, right? Learning to say no more for some of you, but at the same time, taking a step back and realizing that you are a, a powerful being, you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. It's just a matter of how much you should realistically take on and accomplish, right? You're only one person, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Watch the tension in your body. I was just on the tip of my toes. You're going to feel a bit sort of on edge. Don't allow yourself to stay that way if you notice it, okay? So this and that are true. You'll be hearing a lot from spirit, okay? Not all is true. Please just uh, use your common sense to decipher what is true and what is not, okay? You might also be hearing a lot from other people, gossip, stuff like that, okay? You might be initiating gossip. Please limit that for this dolphin spirit. It's awkward silence after I said that. It just feels like you do need to let those swords fall out as they may. Um, interesting. I'm gonna put those back. The sun, the high priestess, the nine of swords and the um, knight of wands, don't believe all your dreams as well, okay? Sometimes they're completely made up. Other times they can be completely sort of flashbacks from the past with stuff added in as well. Um, it's just, you know, when you hear stuff during the day, spiritually, it's the same thing when it comes to your dreams, it's just more visual, right? You might be remembering a lot of which, but when it comes to gossip and things you're hearing, people think, things people are telling you, you're lacking the quality sleep you desire at this time, or at least most of the week, um, and recently, so you're needing to sort of, uh, push forward, uh, think, you know, uh, keep that happiness alive, all right, or bring it back. Um, a huge focus on completion when it comes to your dreams and uh, memories and uh, the things you're hearing, all right? Very spiritually connected at this time, but needing to sort of embrace the new in a lot of ways, even if the new makes things more simplistic, for some of you more complicated, all right? But being uh, pushed to hop on that horse, that chariot, to passionately go after what you deserve, regardless of what people say, okay? And the main focus for the week is magic. It's going to be a magical week, right, of healing, of um, doing your best to rest, but getting a lot accomplished, people seeing the magic within you and recognizing that. Five of Cups, don't expect the worst, okay? Also, don't focus on the, the details that are sort of stressing you out or uh, you know in the past have caused issues, right? With your family, your friends, whatever that case may be. Allow yourself to focus on the positives. There's a lot of hope and happiness um, sort of... I want to say the serene energy in the air, you know, tranquility, be one with it. Don't try to force against it. Okay. For my lovely Sagittarius, to pull the main part of the reading. We pulled four for Leo's. I think I'm going to do that too and just align them. Okay. All right. So temperance, that's your energy. Um, Ten of Pentacles, a huge focus on your financial comfort moving forward, your happily ever after, or other people's in your life. Um, wanting to sort of uh, see a success come to be, whether it's your uh, beginning with a job for you or for somebody else you know or love, or just wanting to sort of invest in something financially and 
um, needing to be truly honest with yourself as to whether that's meant to be. Okay. So temperance. Sorry, I just forcefully held that up. See, but that's your energy. You need to sort of take a deep breath and just you just go with the flow. Allow yourself to, to pace yourself this week. Okay. For temperance. For Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are happening for you, all right? The temperance again at the bottom. You need to have patience this week and still balance, you know, with yourself, other energy situations. The energy in the air at times, it may feel like you sort of experience this level of tranquility in the air of peace, you know, with your loved ones. And then you go to work and it's hectic or it's just annoying and stressful or you just have some loud people. But also, you know, you at times do sort of combat that energy, you know, and outside of work or whatever the case may be. I don't know why that keeps coming up. It may be like your living situation that's hectic and then works more peaceful, right? It's going to vary from case to case. But you need to sort of have that peace or be the peace in a situation, all right? You may be thinking a lot about tattoos this week. Very interesting. When going back to the overall focus of magic, I see this sort of magical vibe in this um, in this card, and that's just how you're coming off to people. So be one with that, you know, embrace it. This is aligned with the um, dragonfly spirit. You're going to be sort of giving off that sort of dragonfly energy. I don't know where that came from. But um, you just need to have patience with the situations when the truths do resurface or you see people's true colors this week. Okay? Five of Pentacles. This one's aligned with see the big picture. Okay? So whether it's you stressing over your money and you needing to see the big picture when it comes to that. Or a situation you don't fit in, in anymore. Okay? Or haven't for a while. What do we have for five pentacles for Saj? You may find that you're insulted by spirit a lot this week. I'm just, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a hefty amount of insults right now. Just trying to like keep a smile on my face. It's happening for a reason right now. I mean, it's going to happen either way when I do my readings. But um, anyways, the moon, um, five of pentacles. So you might be feeling quite emotional you know, due to whatever situation you're not fitting in. Uh, with anymore or you don't feel as if uh, you have enough money or you stress over the uh, future of your finances uh, being aligned with the giraffe spirit once again take a step back look at the big picture okay uh, the moon speaks upon a lot of uh, lack of knowledge or secrecy and you may just like uh, like you may feel as if the universe is keeping this level of um secrecy uh, with you or just keeping this level of knowledge from you about the future of your your business your career your finances or the situation you don't fit in with anymore all right wanting to sort of passionately start something new um you wanting to keep it fresh you have a lot of options or you will moving forward a reminder will come in in one way shape or form okay ace of cups and this is aligned with this and that are true so you're going to be feeling quite abundant, feeling like you have a level of um, abundance when it comes to knowledge, clarity coming in about other people around you, situations, the past. Um, some of you, the future, it may not be fully is uh, the level of clarity about your future you desire, but you have some, right? Feeling as if you've been blinded to what lies ahead for long enough. It's like, all right, come on, universe. Uh, tell me more. Give me some more, right? While the uh, past is popping back up, there may be a huge focus on love. For you towards the end of the week okay i'm going to pull a couple signs which i did for leo um maybe worrying about the uh, stressing about the future of a connection for you okay with the hermit interesting this sort of desire to spend time with your loved ones uh and then you feel this desire to spend time alone and it's like they don't need to be confusing that's just how i feel from um time to time okay let's pull a couple signs for this one since love is now coming into the equation libra and capricorn those may be your past given um, they came out in reverse at first someone might have double capricorn or you might be dealing with two capricorns done all right and here we are your energy it could be another sag or just you popping out um it's interesting the times i've used this deck so far in the weekly reads for like to come out so we have um Leo, Capricorn, Libra, and Aries. You'll have to let me know in the comments as to how that pertains to you, how if you're wrapped up with any, or if 
you know, we forget that those could be part of their chart or your chart. If you're not fully aware of um, yours or the other people you're surrounded with, their birth chart. Okay. But we're moving on. So it's aligned with this and that are true. So just those people you're wrapped up with, just remember that everything they tell you may not fully be true, even if you have that level of trust. Everything you're hearing about them in one way, shape, or form, whatever the source is, may not be fully true. Something to very much keep in mind as you uh, are a bit emotional and just very tired this week. Six of Pentacles. Do you hear how t intense that was? Um, anyways, so the Six of Pentacles. Did that come out already? I can't remember. Maybe that was Leo's. We're here for the Six of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You're gifted with a level of attention, okay? Um, I mentioned a couple a couple weeks ago in your reading that you were getting certain levels of attention, people messaging you, reaching out to update you on their situation. It feels like people are going to be noticing you in a successful uh, gifted light, a magical light being aligned with a magic card. Them wanting you to understand that they do care for you in that manner. It's like they have a lot going on, but they also sort of reach out, especially towards the end of the week during the weekend to say, Sag, good job on, you know, the healing or I'm proud of you. I see all that you're going through or uh, I saw the creations you, you know, have developed or the work you've been putting in one way, shape or form. You know, it could be through work or just your loved ones outside of it. Wow. Could be a romantic situation. It just feels like people are noticing you. You know, the Three of Pentacles at times does speak upon um, people noticing the changes you're making or the work you're um, creating or developing at this time. You're just a magical creature and you need to remember that. Okay. I feel like at times you just kind of want to uh, shout to the moon or just want to kind of get all your emotions out in that sense or shout from a rooftop or a mountaintop. Interesting. I don't know where that came from, but allow yourself to remember that with the lovers again, that you're truly loved and that you have this connection that is meant for you in one way, shape or form especially if it pertains to those signs that came out and to remember that they also notice you in a very uh, beautiful light, even if at times you have your flaws or your sort of um, angry or very sad moments, you know, allow yourself to remember that it's a week of healing progression and um, progress as you do again, need to rest as you push to hop on your chariot and do what's right for you and your loved ones at this time. All right. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Sag.